I'm Stefan Achenbach. I'm here at the ESC conference in London, and we're going to talk about difficult scenarios in chest pain. Here with me are two real experts. Uh, we have Oliver Gemperli from the University in Zurich, an interventional cardiologist and imaging specialist, and Kuhn Niemann from Rotterdam. He is a world expert in cardiac CT. And Kuhn, we had this session today where we talked about atypical chest pain in the context of difficult scenarios. And you decided to use CT to work up a case, even though there's quite a bit of controversy still around CT. Can you tell us what makes you use CT in these patients? Right. Yeah, obviously there, there are many techniques and um, uh, we chose CT. We could have ch chosen uh, different techniques. What we do first, based on guidelines, we determine the pretest probability of disease. And in this case of atypical chest pain, it was in the low to intermediate uh, range. In this range, we can choose between different techniques that would be allowable. Um, at our center, we enjoy using the cardiac CT. Uh, we have experience with that. So in the majority of patients, that is what we will use first to exclude coronary artery disease because of the high negative predictive value. I think the key word here is to exclude, isn't it? Uh, isn't Absolutely. that specifically where you use cardiac CT? That's where it's most effective. And that's why we use it in, in the low to intermediate probability. We use the calcium score and then the CT angiogram to rule out coronary artery disease, which in the majority of patients presenting with chest pain is actually the case. They don't have coronary artery disease. The ones that do have coronary artery disease is actually a minority of patients. And I think you mentioned it at the beginning that you know, you're working along the guidelines here. I think we did. Uh, the CT can be used in this population. So um, the alternative, you have to also look at things like uh, whether your technical availability is uh, sufficient and whether the patient characteristics are sufficient. And in those patients, you can use it. Had we had a patient with atrial fibrillation of, or overweight patients, then we would have chosen a different test. So you really have to choose your testing according to the patient. Absolutely. And I think that brings us to the next problem, which is that many patients don't fit in the guidelines. The guidelines don't cover everything. And you had a very nice case that you presented today of a patient who had complex situation of chest pain, low ejection fraction, and renal failure, suspected coronary disease. So how do you work up these patients who are really complex? Well, you're absolutely right, uh, Stefan. Unfortunately, the real life is, is, uh, doesn't fit always in the guidelines. Uh, so in this lady that you described, that I presented today, I think uh, the choice was uh, particularly difficult because we really don't know what is the best test in this situation. So uh, I think uh, when we are uh, facing such a difficult situation, there are two things. Uh, that you can use to choose your test. Uh, the first thing are the patient characteristics, as Kuhn described before. Uh, some patients are more suitable for one examination, others are more suitable for another study. So in a renal failure patient, what are the specific problems? Well, in a renal failure patient, I would try to avoid ionidinated contrast or uh, MR contrast uh, for the obvious reasons. Um, and it, uh, on, on top of that, as you know, this lady had left bundle branch block. So treadmill testing is probably not advisable and stress echo could be difficult to interpret. So we actually decided to go for a SPECT study. Mm -hmm. And I think the second uh, important thing is to consider the local expertise that you have uh, at your center for your particular techniques. I would say that some centers have a lot of experience with stress echo, while maybe other centers are more experienced with CT or uh, CMR, for so example. So you really have to tailor the test to the patient and to the local expertise that is available. Absolutely, I think that's crucial. One of the very frequent situations that we see in chest pain is acute chest pain. And actually in many centers we have more acute chest pain presentations than stable chest pain. Right. And Kuhn, I think CT can actually play a particular role in acute chest pain. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, there have been uh, several trials recently that looked at the uh, use of the cardiac CT in uh, emergency care patients and where it's particularly useful is in the, the era of the conventional troponins where there was a long delay be between your first and your second troponins in patients where it was not completely clear whether they were normal or had an acute coronary syndrome. And uh, what the CT provided was a very early answer to whether there was a disease or not. It would allow you to discharge the patient and that would save time and eventually that would save cost. And it turned out that uh, also in terms of fa safety, it seemed to be performing very well. Uh, it's very safe to use the CT scan. Yes, I think this is what we learned from this short discussion. Uh, discussion about difficult scenarios in chest pain that you really have to tailor your test to the patient and also to local expertise. And luckily we have all these tools available which allow us to practice good medicine. Thank you very much to the discussants and thank you very much for your attention.